throughout. Genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to 4. Now the Lord said to Abraham, Get out of your country, from your family and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken to him, and Lot went with him. And Abraham was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. From Abraham's life here that we just read in Genesis chapter 12, one important key, and it might be very simple, and yet nevertheless it's very important, is that we must be willing to get up and go out. And that's, that was God's instruction when, to Abraham. You know, Abraham was growing up in a country that, uh, of course, his fathers and generations prior to that, they were involved in all kinds of worship and all kinds of things. And here God was getting ready to do something in his life. God was getting ready to unfold a, a, a destiny that would impact generations to come. But in order for that to even begin to take place, Abraham had to do one very important thing. He had to get up and he had to go out. So also in our own lives, as we are walking with God and journeying with God, and we are desiring to walk in and into the destiny that God has for us. We're desiring to move into those things we know uh, have been uh, set apart for us, that they are our life assignment. One very important thing is that we must be willing to get up and go out, meaning we should be uh, ready to step into the unknown. Be ready to leave things that you're very comfortable with. Uh, it may mean for us, some of us, to step out of what we are so accustomed to. Abraham must have been so comfortable dwelling in that particular part of the world where generations of his family had grown up. Uh, but yet now God was calling him to do something totally uncomfortable. Get up, go out, leave your father's home, go to a new land, go to a place I will show you. And so Abraham had to obey God in our lives this may mean, you know, you are getting up and leaving where you are to move to maybe a new job, maybe a new uh, city, uh, maybe a new role or function in your organization. Uh, it, it, could, it could vary in, in how it applies to us. Or some of us may be even changing our entire career, the entire course of our career. Maybe you've been working in one area, but now you feel you need to get up and go out and make it shift, maybe a radical shift, a radical change uh, in the kind of work you're involved in. Whatever that means to you, that getting up and going out could be fundamental. It could be crucial. It could be critical. It could be that life transforming thing you would do that you'd set you on course for your destiny. For Abraham, it meant not only his life, but affecting generations that would come after him. When he got up, and when he went out, generations, even people till today, are were affected because of that one act of getting up and going out. You may not know how far reaching the effects would be of you stepping out into the unknown. Pray about this. See if God is telling you at this juncture of your life to get up, go out, follow him. Destiny awaits. Let's pray. Father, we ask you that you'll give us ears that can hear, hearts that are sensitive to you, and will that is willing to be obedient to you, God. That as you call us to get up and go out, we will be willing to do so in order to move into our destiny, in order to take new ground for your honor, for your glory. I pray your blessing on each one listening, God, that if this week you're speaking to them, may be so clear, so evident, May they know that you are speaking to them and give them the grace to respond. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.